Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this particular problem from engineering statics. The problem says that determine the force developed in members F, E, E, B and B, C of the truss and state if these members are in tension or compression. So we are required to determine the force in this F, E member, this E, B member and this B, C member. So we will solve this problem by using the method of sections. So we will pass a cutting section to these three members uh, for which we need to determine the forces and then uh, it's up to you that whether we consider this left hand side of the cutting section or this right hand side of the cutting section but I am going to consider this right hand side of the cutting section. So to consider that uh, right, hi right hand side of the cutting section we need to determine the roller support at this particular point D. So for that we will consider this whole truss and we will apply the summation of moment about point A equals to 0. So and if we assume that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So now as we can see that uh, this 11 kN force is producing the clockwise moment about that point A. So I will write minus 11 and the moment arm of this 11 kN force from that point A is this 2 meters distance. So I will multiply it with 2. Similarly, this 22 kN force is producing the clockwise moment, so I will write minus 22 and the moment arm of this 22 kN force from that point A is 2 plus 1.5, so this is 3.5 and this D is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A, so I will write plus D and the moment arm of this D from that point A is the summation of 2 plus 1.5 plus 2, so this is 5.5. 5.5 and this is equal to 0. So if I bring this term to the other side of equation so it will become negative. So if we divide both side of equation by minus 5.5 so we will be able to find the support at point D. We can calculate it so this is minus 11 into 2 is minus 22 and minus 22 into 3.5 divided by minus 5.5. So D comes out to be 18 kN. So we can say that D, the support at point D is 18 kN. Now since we are considering the right hand side of that cutting section, so this is our free body diagram and here we have that 18 kN force. and in these members in which we want to determine the forces, we will assume that all these members are in tension, right? So, so we will assume that this uh, Fe force is acting away from that joint E and the force in this uh, EB member is also acting away from this joint E and similarly the force in this BC member is also acting away from this joint C. So, so all these three members are in tension. This is, this is our assumption, right? And let us say that uh, this BE member is making some angle theta here, right? So now uh, first I will find the length of this BE member since we, we will require the length of this BE member to find this theta or to consider the cos of this theta or sine of this theta. So we can apply the Pythagoras theorem to this triangle to find this BE length. So BE member length square will be equal to this EF square. This EF square, this B, BE square is equal to EF square plus this BF square. And then we will take the square root if we want to find that BE member length. So EF member is 1.5 so we can say this is 1.5 square plus that BF member length is 2 meters so this is 2 square so this gives us 2.5 <coughs> so this length is 2.5 so let me write that BE length is 2.5 meters. Now if I extend the line of action of these two uh, forces so they will intersect at point B. So they are going to meet at that point B. 
Now to find this uh, EF member force, we can apply the summation of moment about point B. So I will apply the summation of moment about point B equals to 0. So if we apply the summation of moment about point B equals to 0, so the line of action of this EB force and this BC force, they are passing through that point B, so they will not come into our equation. So we will have this EF uh, member force in our equation as an unknown. So if we apply the summation of moment about point B equals to 0, so this EF is producing the uh, counterclockwise moment about that point B and again the counterclockwise moment is positive. So we can write that Fe and the moment arm of this Fe from that point B is this 2 meter length. So I will multiply it with 2 and similarly this 22 kN force is producing the clockwise moment about that point B so I will write minus this is 22 and the perpendicular distance of this 22 kN force from that point B is the length of this BC member which is 1.5 meters so I will multiply it with 1.5 and similarly this 18 kN force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point B so I will write plus 18 and the moment arm of this 18 kilonewton force from that point B is the is the 2 plus 1.5 meters. So it is 3.5 meters. I will multiply it with 3.5 and this will be equal to 0. And if we bring these two terms to the other side of equation, so their sign will become opposite. And if we divide both sides of equation by 2, so we will be able to find that Fe member force. So this is this is 22, 22 into 1.5 minus 18 into 3.5 divided by 2. So this is minus. So Fe member force is minus 15 kilonewton. So the minus sign indicates that the assumed direction is not accurate. So this means that the actual uh, Fe member force is acting in the opposite direction which means that this is the compressive force. So we can say that Fe member force is 15 kN and it is compressive. Now to find that Bc member force we are going to apply the summation of moment about point E. Again the line of action of this force and the line of action of this force is passing to that point E so they will not come into our equation and we will be able to find this Bc member force. So again if I apply the summation of moment about point E equals to 0 again the counterclockwise moment is positive. So as we can see that uh, <coughs> this the line of action of this 22 kN force is also passing to that point E so it will not come into our equation as well. So this BC force is producing the clockwise moment about that point E so I will write minus BC. And the moment arm of this BC from that point is again this length which is 2 meters. So I will multiply it with 2. And this 18 kN force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point E. So I will write plus and this is 18. And the moment arm of this 18 kN force from that point E is 2 meters. So I will multiply it with 2. And this is equal to 0. And if I bring this to the other side of equation so it will become minus and 2 will cancel out so this means that minus will cancel out so this means that BC member force is equal to 18 kN and since it is positive this means that the assumed direction is accurate so this means that BC member force is the tension force. Now uh, we have determined this Fe and this BC we are only left with this EB member so if I apply the uh, summation of the forces along the y direction equals to 0 if this is our positive x and y direction. So then we need to resolve this EB force into its components. So if I resolve this EB force into its components so it will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction. If, if we are considering this as theta then this one is the sine component. So we can say that this is EB sine of theta. So if I apply the summation of forces along y, so as we can see that this sine component is acting in the negative y direction, so I will write minus Eb sine of theta and this 22 kN force is acting in the negative y, so I will write minus 22 and this is acting in the positive y, so I will write plus 18 
and this is equal to 0. So if we bring this to the other side of equation, so they will become positive, it will become negative. And if we divide both sides of equation by minus sine of theta, so we will be able to find that EB. So we can write that EB is equal to 22 minus 18 divided by minus sine of theta. So now if we apply sine of theta to this triangle, so from that triangle we can say that sine of theta is perpendicular, so perpendicular is 2 divided by hypotenuse, so hypotenuse is 2.5 that we have determined, so this is 2 divided by 2.5, so sine of theta is 2 divided by 2.5, now we can determine this, so this is 22 minus 18 divided by minus 2 divided by 2.5. So this gives us minus 5, so Eb is equal to minus 5 kilonewton. So the minus sign again, it means that the assumed direction for Eb is not accurate. So this means that the magnitude of Eb uh, member force is 5 kilonewton and it is the compressive force. So while starting the problem, if you are assuming that all the unknown forces are the tension forces, so whenever there is a negative sign, so that negative sign will always mean that that particular force is the compressive force. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.